Hi, my name is Evan Flack with AICHE. I'm here with Dr. Mike Thien from Merck, who just won the Management Division Award for Technical Leadership. Um, just want to congratulate you on winning the award. Thank you. And you also just gave a very interesting talk on managing global technical networks. Can you give us a few takeaway points from that talk? Sure. It turns out that most of the country, companies in the pharmaceutical industry are transnet, transitioning from being international companies where they have sites around the world that are typically run by expatriates who make products for their traditional customers, US, Europe, Japan. But these companies are now going international. They are making products now not only for those primary markets, but also making products for people in emerging markets and access nations whose customers we don't know very well. And they're making those products at sites all over the world using international staffs, local staffs. And so we are challenged with, one, how do we get the creativity of the innovation to make what our customers everywhere want to see in the product? And the second piece is how do we connect all of these people at all of these sites worldwide so that they can use the knowledge and the experience of everyone else in the technical network of the company to be able to help solve the problems that they face and work on the innovation that is needed. Um, certainly at Merck, we've looked at that and really tried to use a variety of different approaches. One is a cultural approach. Our key emphasis is people have to make their problems visible so that everyone else in the network can know what problems they're having and can help solve them. The second piece, though, is using modern social media tools. So we've created something called the Virtual Technical Network, which is a series of social media tools where you belong to a community of a particular technical expertise. And every time a problem gets posted that needs somebody with that technical expertise, you can just click on the link and go and put down your thoughts. And that way, the person who has the problem can quickly gather thoughts from all of the relevant experts in the global technical network. It is a way of connecting people in a real modern and virtual way. And it has led to significant benefits with regard to connectivity and rapid problem solving. OK. So um, yeah, you definitely just explained a lot of transitions that, that Merck is going through with, uh, with respect to globalization. Um, do you think that other companies are going through these similar transitions? And how do you see this having an overall effect on the biopharmaceutical field? Certainly, the pharmaceutical industry is undergoing transition. And we all face similar challenges. New customers in growth markets that weren't our traditional markets, huge pricing pressure on what were our traditional markets, and seeking ways to differentiate our products for our customers. These challenges, while many, are perfect challenges for new engineers coming into the biopharmaceutical industry. Because the challenges, whether trying to decrease price, differentiate product, or create products that are right for new customers, all of them involve technical innovation that comes from engineering. And so this is a great time for young people to be entering the biopharmaceutical industry because there are so many opportunities for them to make an impact, not only a financial impact, but an impact on human health. Do you have any suggestions for um, either college students or uh, graduate students or young professionals who are wanting to get involved in the biopharmaceutical, biopharmaceutical industry? I think that the students, whether they're undergraduate or graduate students, should take the time to learn about the industry while they're in school. And I think what they'll find is that there are a variety of different elective courses that they could take if they're an undergraduate or you know, focus on for their thesis as a graduate student that are directly relevant to the biopharmaceutical industry. Whether it's biochemical engineering or formulation sciences or crystallization and reaction control, all of those are things that are directly used skills in the biopharmaceutical industry. And those are things that they could rapidly pick up while they're in school. Well, thank you for joining us today, Dr. Thien, and uh, congratulations again on winning the award. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure.